Hello Lola's. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel guys. I'm here of course with Nori Brielle and just to uh, just chat. Um, I miss being able to sit in my chair and just hold my babies and talk to you guys. Um, this is actually usually my best time or my best videos that well the ones that I enjoy the most. I actually, believe it or not, do not enjoy the standing up and uh, hovering over. Sorry, I'm trying to move my my rocking chair up a little bit because when I rock, I don't want to hit the wall because I like to rock. But yes, yeah, uh, it's one. I'm trying to make sure she's in the camera. But um, yeah, this is one of my favorite. Um, type of videos because I get to relax actually and I never really get as much time to relax <laughs> so this when I do sit down videos I'm actually able to really sit down and chat and um, enjoy so uh, for those of you guys that don't know who Nori is and I think I would like to think that everybody know who Nori is but I don't want to assume so Nori is the Nori Sculpt by Sil Jennifer Sussman Price from Silicon Studio. Um, she's been painted and rooted by myself. Um, so Nori's been in my collection for about 11 months. Um, I went and looked it up. Um, and so yeah, so she, she's she been in my collection for about 11 months and she's been bald up until last night, <laughs> pretty much. Um, I, you know, did like little edges and stuff and that was it. Um, so I will say one of the things that I did to her, I did with her, which is... Um, I'm actually really glad I did is I actually pulled out some of her hair in the front it was too thick for me and so that she could have a she could have finer hair and um and so that's that's what I did with her um because she's a micro preemie and I just felt like giving her um you know, a more softer, sparsely rooted hair would be more appropriate for her. Not to say that, you know, some babies are born with full head of thick, thick hair, but I think this is still a lot of hair for a baby. Um, it's just, you know, very sparse compared to some of my other babies. Um, So yeah, so anyway, I'm looking at the looking at the window watching uh, my daughter get on the bus. So so yeah, so I just really, like I said, um, I was really excited to do this and challenge myself. I thought to myself, I'll never finish in a day. Um, I only allowed myself one day, um, and I was like, if I don't finish, so I tried to work more towards the front first. So I had about this much done and I was like, oh God, that's all I'm going to be able to do. So I pushed and pushed and I didn't go to sleep until late, late, late at night, um, two nights in a row. Because at the end of the day, once I got through packing out another baby and, you know, or actually I was taking pictures and getting that baby, putting that baby together and all that stuff and um, doing some painting and stuff like that, then the... The following day I did pack it. So and then after that I stayed up and rooted really late. And then the next day I did packing. I went and shipped the baby. I did a little bit of painting. And then I finished her rooting. Um, it was funny because I was sitting in the chair and I was just going. I was going and going and going. And I was listening to like shows on like Netflix and um, you know Prime and you know all that stuff. And... I, when I looked up, I was almost done, but I thought, 
you know, it's so crazy because I was thinking to myself, oh my God, this is good timing. I was like, I can, you know, go do some stuff. And I looked at the clock and it was 9.30 something. I was like, oh my God. So that mean I had been sitting in that chair for probably about six hours. And I, ha I had to use the bathroom, uh, tinkle, I will say. Yes, I don't want to sound grody. But I had to water the flowers, okay? Um, me and an old friend, when we used to talk on the phone, and I would mute in between while we're talking. And she was like, where are you, what are you doing? What's wrong? Is your, your phone going on? I'd be like, oh, I was watering the flowers. And then um, sometimes she would be like, Oh, you must be watering the flowers because it would be, the phone would be mute. Okay, I know that's TMI. But anyway, I did not do, even move to water flowers. And I my I was like rocking trying to finish that last little bit. Because when you're in a rhythm with rooting, when you get up, it's like, my for me, my mind goes a hundred other places. And, I, and it takes me another two hours before I even sit back down to do it. So, I ended up. Um, so I ended up, uh, just sitting there until I finished. And then by the time I got through, you know, washing her, cutting her hair, all that and stuff, I didn't finish to after 10, but it was well worth it. <laughs> it was well worth it. And I am so happy that, um, I'm happy with the results. I'm glad that it turned out good luckily she has a lot of like bruising and stuff in her scalp so it shows up with the more oh um, sparse rooting why is this car still sitting here anyway um so it, it, it works out but anyway like i said i i, I just really i can't believe it took almost a year before I, I, I got her rooted and it only take a day and a half at best um, to get her rooted. But that just goes to show you like how little time we take out for ourselves a lot of times. Or maybe it says something about time management. Or maybe it says something about the way I prioritize because I have painted myself other babies, but rooting my babies, not so much. Um, and you got to understand, painting a baby and rooting a baby, it's a different type of time. When I, when I go to paint a baby, there's a lot of time in between that. Like, I can get multiple things done at one time. So, when I'm painting a personal baby for myself... I can also be working on two babies as for somebody else or something else because you know you gotta wait for it to dry and all that stuff. So um even with reborns, you gotta you know, you gotta bake it and while you're baking it, you can be painting other limbs and you know, babies and stuff. So it's you know it's funny. Um I'm I'm seeing so much seeing things so differently now being on the other side of the fence than just collecting um my appreciation for you know artists that i've gotten babies for from um in the past is much different um the amount of grace that i give other artists that i might have judged harshly um when i was just a collector it has changed a lot um because i'm like Wow, it's really not as simple as it seems. And so, um, so I really, really, you know. But anyway, Nori, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just stop this video. But I just want to say, with Nori, she's not the a traditional like regular just micro preemie. She's 14 and a half inches. She's almost 15 inches. And for me, she even though she's not a baby that I would necessarily want to like cradle cradle necessarily, but she is a baby that I love like doing just what I'm doing now. 
Um, sometime if you know if I'm watching TV or whatever and I get her dressed I will leave her on my lap or you know um, when I hold her I it I hold her different I love to feel her head the weight of her head feels good and it does feel good in 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 the crook of your neck um, the crook of your neck the crook of your arm the when her you know head so she does feel good holding even though she's a tiny baby but this is my favorite way to hold her head in my hand and I will just look at her and pose her and all that stuff you know something about when you first when you first finish rooting babies I realized I was complaining about this the other day but it's mostly probably because I didn't really like shampoo shampoo her hair you got to get those loose hairs out because if not, they shed a bit until all those loose hairs are gone. But it's not necessarily hair falling out of that scalp. It's just the extra hairs that when you're rooting that you didn't root inside the hair but was attached to the hair. I don't know how to explain it. But anyway, so yeah. So... Nori is still my number one. She's probably going to be even more so my number one. I love her with hand mitts, but I also love to put her hands in her in her uh, face. So, and or in her mouth. So, I equally like her without the hand mitts. But I'm going to put her on the hand mitts because I just think having babies on hand mitts this little is so realistic because babies scratch themselves so much so we keep them with their little hammocks but she could still be trying to get it in her mouth because they do and they that's why you'll see like yellowy stains on baby clothes with these mitts because they get milk on it because they try to put it in their mouth and of course her armature makes her such a little pose a baby she posed so 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 nice but anyway thanks guys for watching and to all my preemie lovers out there make sure you got you a nori in your collection because she's amazing i may actually um i said i didn't want to do this but i think i might if i can raise up enough money save up enough money sell enough babies i'm hoping that one day before um uh, jennifer like close the edition um or retire the edition i'm hoping that i get me a boy i really want a boy nori so i'll have twins <laughs> Oh, he's so cute. I love the boy Nori that I did. His name is Silas. He was so cute. He was also my favorite. Like, if he hadn't been a custom order, I would have, I would have kept him for sure in my favorite collection. So, like, I think I've seen another artist talking about this. Not every baby, like, really warms your heart in that way. So, it's nice when when one capture your heart that way. I was going to do her hair and everything. Oh, and the other thing is her hair is like a little two-toned. I just realized that. I forgot. She has a little brown and black hair. Because I'm often playing with different colors. When I originally started rooting her, I rooted her with a different color hair. Oh, that's interesting. Well, anyway, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.